Guys, I was with Greg at the Shisha and he was Swizzy. You made over 36,000 pounds this Friday, yeah? Yeah? And he was, why don't you make a YouTube video? And I was like, what for? Like, people will think it's a flex. He's like, no, you like explain the reason why, okay? You show them how you announce this in your Telegram, everything goes. You know what? Yeah, that's smart. So now, like, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't supposed to do a YouTube video, guys. You, you can see, like, literally, I have my F3, my this, this, like, yeah, I'm not ready. But let's go home. I'm going to explain to you how I managed to make over 36K. And by the way, just to make it clear, this is not the financial advice. This is just my personal opinion. Now, let's go to the chart. So how did I manage to make those 36,000 pounds? It's pretty simple in the theory. So here is the chart. I saw that it was hitting the trend, see, uh, the resistance since uh, Thursday when the daily candle closed. And I was, mm, okay, interesting for sure. And the proof is right here. Look at my Telegram. In my Telegram, there is over 3,164 members. It's my private. To 2nd of December, which is Friday at 2 a.m. Dubai is four hours ahead from the UK. So it was technically 10 p.m. UK time. I said Euro USD, it can drop easily. So if you want to sell, you can. Why? Simply because it was hitting the resistance. We had the correlation with the stochastic and it was hitting the trend. I didn't like send an official announcement that I was getting in simply because we had some risk. As you can see, um, it's about to hit the weekly trend. Weekly trend is probably one of the like strongest thing in trading. Once you hit the weekly trend, you know it's going to go down. So here it hit it, went down. Here it hit it went down and now i was kind of sure what's going to hit it boom we can tell it but we had some space you know if i go on the lower time frame in the four hour you can see that it will have gone up by easily 60 pips let's say it's with just a bit yeah 100 pips so i wanted to make sure that you guys get like the right entry in case i was sending my investment so i just said it's interesting so a lot of you got in and made money but now let me explain to you why so first thing on Thursday night, I knew it was interesting. And then I was, oh, it's the first Friday of the month. It's gonna be interesting because NFP is gonna happen. And look, for those who are gonna tell me, oh, Tuesday, I don't know what is NFP. Yo, non-farm payroll, November, boom. For those who want to understand what is NFP, it measures the change in the number of people employed during the previous month, excluding the farming industry. Job creation is the, form, the foremost indicator of consumer spending, which account for the majority of economy activity. So what you need to understand is NFP represents the economy activity. Now, we always have a forecast, okay, and the actual number. Some of you are going to tell me, yeah, but how do I understand this news? It's pretty simple. When you have a forecast, the final news is going to have an impact on the forecast. So let me give you an example. Let's say you're going out, going for, you have your work and you accept, expect to make 200 pounds today. But in reality, you make 150 pounds. What does it mean? Oh, the economy is not doing that well. It's not doing that good. So it's not really good for your mindset. You're going to be like more like a negative during the other days. At the opposite, if you expect to make 200 pounds, but in reality you make 250, 300 pounds, you're, oh my God, people have money here, okay? So the economy is doing well, and it's a good news. So here, with NFP, it's exactly the same thing for the US economy. We had a forecast of 200 jobs. The news was they had 263,000 jobs, which is a good news for the economy, yeah? We had more jobs than what we expected. That's really good. So USD is getting stronger. Now, if you take the chart Euro USD, when you take Euro USD, you need to see like this, Euro USD. If they push push at the same like strength, Euro versus the USD, then it's not gonna move. But in case Euro is getting stronger, the chart Euro USD is going up. Now, same energy, yeah? Euro USD, U uh, Euro USD. Same uh, energy for Euro, but USD is getting weaker, less energy. Euro is still pushing at the same energy, so it's going up. Now, in that case, what do we have? We had NFP. We had a good news for the US. So what does it mean? It means US is getting stronger. So Euro pushing at the same, but US is getting stronger. So it's pushing down. So the chart Euro USD should go down, guys. Now, how did you know, Swizzy? It would be like a good news for the US economy. When you are doing fundamental trading, because you have technical, which is charts, which is what I have done on Thursday night. But here, it's more like the fundamental aspect. It's more about, you're never sure. Expect that it's gonna be like this. But look, something. If I look at all the previous NFP, yeah? So this is you know, December, November, October, September, August, July. The economy is doing well. Look, a month ago, 200K, 261. 
272. At the moment, the US economy is doing well regarding what they expect and what's really happening. So I was okay. So the last two, four, five months, it has been like, we can even like show more, look, show more, look. Yeah, the last like eight months, the economy has been like pretty well. So I was, there is no reason I haven't seen any like bad news coming, okay, about the interest rate or the CPI or whatever. Nothing really bad happened. So why would the forecast be like why would like the, the actual result lower than the false cars so no reason so i held my position thanks god made over thirty six thousand pounds and you can see how it dropped literally uh i'm gonna go on the five minute chart and it was here yeah you see 25 and at 30 what the news boom and this drop okay is due to NF. Now, what you need to understand is when you're investing, there are some risks, yeah. Now, to get back, yeah, Susie, but look, it went back up, yeah. But just more on the five minute, look, it's here, close around that level. So if I go back on the four hour, Euro USD could be interesting as a short, yeah. It's a bit risky because we have some more space, but on the short term, you might get like an interesting quick scalp as a short. Anyway, if you have more questions, feel free to add me on my Instagram, Sweetzyman, which is my main, and O oh, Sweetzyman, which is my backup page. And yeah, ask me anything there. I'm here to help you, to show you the process. If you like the video, feel free to like it and subscribe and see you soon for another video.